Um, we, we try to listen as much as we can to our students. So <clears throat> we actually um, have a cancellation survey. So whenever you cancel your Treehouse account, there's a survey you can fill out. And, and you'd be surprised at how many people will do that and also how transparent they are. Um, and, you know, a lot of them are, are uh, <laughs> they're almost shockingly personal. You know, some people will say things like, oh, you know, I just got divorced and, and my life is falling apart. You know, I got to cancel my account. <laughs> oh my gosh, so sad. So, you, you know, actually contact those people and say, hey, well, can we help you out? You know, if, um, maybe we can give you a free month to get you back on your feet or something. But, but a lot of people just say things like, hey, the site's hard to navigate. I can't find what I'm looking for. I can't remember where I was. Like, this is just too hard. So after hearing enough of that feedback, we, we just wound that into the new design. You know, hey, let's just make it a lot simpler to, to understand where you are at in the curriculum and, and also what we offer. So that was one of the main goals. Um, the other goal was just to make it easier in general to use. So I'm sure all of your audience knows, you know, the better the user experience is of your site, probably the more sales you'll have just because it's a, a more delightful experience. Um, so we just try to think holistically, hey, how can we make our students' lives better, you know, and easier? And then we'll, we'll benefit from that at some point. Um, and we also technically wanted to align the design with the iPad app. So we released an iPad app before and it was, it had sort of leapfrogged the design of the current site. So then we wanted to bring the current site in line with that um, and make that a more coherent experience. We've done a couple things on the homepage that are interesting. Our homepage is totally different now. And we have what's called a hero image. You're probably familiar with that. And, um, you know, you have a woman using a computer. It looks like she's learning. Um, and we're going to test that. You know, so far there hasn't, it's been, it's been a good bump in conversion, but isn't like shocking. Um, but, but as you know, there is very few shocking changes you can make to a page to get shocking conversion, you know, differences. It's all kind of 0 0.2, 0 0.1, you know, 0 0.05. Um, but one interesting thing we have found is, I mean, our students tend to respond to women better, probably because they're men. Um, and so we will probably end up using more, more images of, of women, you know, obviously in a tasteful, you know, appropriate way, but, but just our audience responds to that a little bit more. Um, so yeah, looking forward to trying that out more. Um, and uh, so far the site's been, it seems to have, cause a general uplift in signups, but again, it's that frustrating problem of not knowing exactly what's causing it, you know? So uh, we're trying to drill down to that, but it just seems like a lot of this ends up being gut instinct. You know, it seems like the right decision. It appears to affect conversion, but you're not sure exactly why. Um, yeah, if, if somehow if you're able to get those analytics in and whether it's, you know, people who were influenced to increase lifetime value or whatever, Maybe you can figure out, you know, the, the, the map of those ideal personas that you're targeting um, and figure out different ways that you can test them. I don't know if you're doing, uh, you know, specific campaigns to certain type of, you know, someone who wants to learn JavaScript versus, I don't know, Ruby, Ruby or whatever. Uh, is that something you do where you differentiate segments of, of demographics? Yep. Yeah. So we do, we, we definitely do content specific um, targeting and, and you know, uh, PPC um, targeting and, and um, we're, we're starting to get a lot more granular on that. We actually start, are starting to retargeting on specific content areas. Retargeting is great for us. Um, you know, very powerful mechanism. We love that. And that's partly because our product is the type of thing that takes you a month to decide if you're going to buy. You know, you're deciding to basically go to school. Um, so that works very well for us. Your classes are teaching everything, and you're you're pretty smart in development. What what is the future of the internet? What are people learning, and where where is it going? I think, in general, what we'll see is you know a basic technical literacy is going to become a mandatory part of every professional life. Um, you know, a real understanding of how the web works, how to control the web, you know, how to how to deal with mobile. Um, you know, responsive uh, having a responsive site now is is mandatory, you know, and uh, if you don't have that, you're already falling behind. In fact, you probably should also have, you know, an app, you know, to complement that. So we're seeing, you know, it's, the pace is getting faster and people are getting left behind faster. But the good news is, thankfully, there's, you know, schools like Treehouse and others that 
are designed to keep you up to date because it's too overwhelming. You know, and if you get a college degree, it's obviously out of date as soon as you graduate and it doesn't continue. So we're, we're trying to create a school that basically you could go to school for life for a very affordable price, you know, less than cable per month and then stay up to date and then, and then get a job. Um, and you'd be surprised, you know, one, one thing that's encouraging is seeing the amount of women that are signing up for Treehouse um, because there isn't a stigma of, you know, getting a computer science degree and going to school with a bunch of men. Um, and I think we're probably going to see the rise of women in technology. <laughs> They're probably going to kick our guys' ass pretty soon if we don't, you know. That's feel. awesome. That's, uh, that, 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 that's really great for the space because, you know, there's certainly not enough women speakers, you know, probably way less women developers. That's for yeah. sure. What have you learned from your past and some advice for people in the future? Sure. Um, I try to blog about my experiences at, at my blog at ryancarson.com. Um, so it, feel free if anyone that wants to come by there. And if you want to email me, it's just ryan at teamtreehouse.com or ryan at ryancarson.com. Um, the biggest thing that, that I've learned is just to try to be naively optimistic about it. You know, if you're educated enough to be watching this show or listening to this show, you are already ahead of, you know, some huge percentage of the world. You know, you're healthy, you have technology, you're, you're already motivated. You know, there really isn't any reason that you can't have the life that you want to have, you know. Um, and, and, you know, one thing I just basically learned is that it appears that people knew what they're doing, but no one does. You know, everybody starts at zero. Um, everybody learns from scratch and every huge monumental task started with knowing nothing. So, um, just encourage people to, to try not to think too much about the scary parts and instead just, just go for it and, and see where it leads. I want to let you know that I just released a free course all about my top e-commerce optimization strategies for your small business website. Whether you're using Shopify, e-commerce, Magento, Volusion, whatever hosted e-commerce platform you're using, or even custom, I have some strategies to give away for you for free. I, I love helping more businesses make more money. So if you want to get this free course, all you have to do is visit the website alexdesigns.com slash free course. Go ahead and check it out and let me know what you think about it.